Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to the energy update for my friends Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces. So let's take a look at the energies for your next 7 days. What needs your attention? Death card Ace of Cups clarified by the Five of Swords and the Knight of Swords. A tricky situation needs your attention, guys, because some of you are dealing with a person of interest or a lover that can be quite difficult to handle because of the Five of Swords, Knight of Swords combination of energies. So they can wear a mask, they may struggle to show their true feelings, they can hide, personify someone else or pretend to be someone else. There can also be gaslighting involved because of the Five of Swords. For some of you there can be the realization that the connection cannot be healed even if there are memories, remembrance, your own miracle is the opportunity to embrace the revolutionary change represented by the death card, which is a transition that starts from within. This is a choice for love for some of you guys, but the Ace of Cups is an energy about self-love first and foremost, and it cannot be shared with someone that is driven by the Five of Swords and the Knight of Swords energy in this case, because it is about our swords, discussions, fights, arguments. We got the Soulmates Oracle card as well. For some of you, maybe this is a soulmate connection. The purpose may be the one to understand uh, what a healthy relationship, a healthy connection truly is. Right now, you can be surrounded by drama, conflicts, BS. So let me see the death card, guys because the energy can sweep away Five of Swords interactions in order to make space for something new, something better. But there can be a price to pay, you know? Two of Swords, Crossroads, Choice. You can close yourself, go within, pay attention, see through the act because there is the moon in the background, so the Mask Oracle card. The other person can try to manipulate the situation to their advantage do not fall for that. Page of Pentacles, this can be an apology, you can receive it, but the Page of Pentacles energy for me is also due diligence and you have to fulfill it. You have to do your own works when it comes to a connection that may not be positive for you. King of Cups, your feelings can basically go under the surface of the water when it comes to this person of interest or this lover. Some of you maybe are dealing with someone that is emotionally unstable. Because of the Five of Swords and Knight of Swords, avoid the arguments, guys, as much as possible. They are pointless. If you want to go away, if you want to leave this person, why should you fight with them? Figure out a way for you to express your decision with just a few words and then end the situation. Six of Swords, Crickets, living behind the footers, living behind the Five of Swords battlefield. There is a family in the card, but this is about the opportunity to end a connection, guys. And so an agreement can be called off. Even a soul contract may end. This is a major realization, but it can be an extremely important decision that can allow you to make space for new positive opportunities that can come up moving forward, miracle, or a quick card. We also have to manifest healing because this can be a challenging connection, but some of you may have the opportunity to overcome it. What's the challenge of the week? The lovers, the Knight of Pentacles, clarified by the Four of Wands and the Page of Swords. This set of energies is about an extremely important connection in the romantic arena for some of you. It can be a soulmate connection as well, the lovers, plus the oracle card, plus the four of wands, 11-11 card for a lot of readers. Some of you are counting the minutes before this connection can take a step forward if we think about a higher level of commitment. It's possible that the Knight of Pentacles offer is taking its sweet time to come and 
I am leaning towards the fact that the Page of Swords can be your person, meaning that you are dealing with someone that may not be exactly receptive when it comes to your desire to move the connection forward. The sword of the lady is pointed downwards, so the communication about the topic may not be exactly fulfilling and satisfying to your person. I would say be careful because this approach, this mindset may not be the wisest one to follow, especially if this connection is extremely important as it seems to be. For others of you, we can even think about the opportunity to make a romantic connection official, you know? Because there can be a common vision, but the vision must be honored and your person maybe is not saying everything following the Mask Oracle card. So, guys, I want to see... I am kind of curious about the Page of Swords because it's the opportunity to gather knowledge also, and some of you may have to do just that. Ask a lot of questions to your person, because they will have to offer some feedbacks to you. Let's see. Page of Wands. So funny, flirtatious, you know, kind of casual. Six of Cups. So genuine intentions and the three of pentacles. So this is kind of encouraging, to be honest, because your person may just be a little bit slow, guys. <laughs> and it's like you have to encourage them to take some steps forward. We can think about baby steps, but sometimes they can make all the difference. The Six of Cups is my favorite card in the deck, all about the purest of arts. The gesture that the kid is doing in favor of the little girl comes from the purest place of his art. No second intentions. A lot of memories involved in this connection. Another soulmate energy, the Six of Cups. Also, potential past life connection, which seems to be more than an option for some of you. And the Three of Pentacles is about openness. So... True feelings, true intentions must come to play when it comes to the opportunity to find a major agreement in favor of a connection that can have a purpose that can be extremely beneficial for the two of you. But this is a choice from the heart, the lovers. Your person has to trust their heart. This is also a scenario that can be about someone that can be extremely young, you know? Page of Wands, Page of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles is a big step. You have to talk, guys, the Three of Pentacles. There is openness for me in the energy and the willingness to listen to what other people may have to say. It's important, it is, because if communication works, there are high chances to find agreements and also solutions that can allow a connection to thrive. There is the chance to do that. Is it a challenge? It can be, but these energies are encouraging and the Knight of Pentacles can also represent the opportunity to share the ace because there is trust. And if there is trust, we know that love can grow. Someone can be a little bit more scared of the big step, but you can take it together, and this can make all the difference. What is the surprise of the week? Ten of Cups, Queen of Cups, clarified by the Three of Cups and the Nine of Swords. Guys, this is about an opportunity to rekindle a romantic connection that may have been a source of disappointments for some of you, Nine of Swords. It's almost a betrayal in this version of the card. Then we can think about anxiety uh, if we follow the original version, three of cups, we have a family in this card, maybe a love triangle in the past. Some of you are not exactly willing to forget that in the overall evaluation uh, of the opportunity to give your person another chance. 
Ten of Cups, important connection. I want to say that for some of you, maybe it was a marriage. The Queen of Cups is the energy that you need because it's the ability to read the intentions of another person in order to find out, in order to understand if something positive can come out of a situation. Guys, I want to see the Nine of Swords because it is kind of interesting and I am also thinking about the opportunity for a former lover, former partner to basically fall down on their knees in order to ask for forgiveness because they are sorry. There is still a choice because we have two swords on the ground, so they can try. Let's see. Ooh, so many cards. Look, a choice, a decision. We have the word in the two of ones. So is it over? Is it over for good? Can we run it back? Do you want to do so? Important crossroads. Soulful decision for me, the two of ones. Look, ten of swords. So it was over for good. It seems. So is the other person trying to pretend that they are different? Mask Oracle card. Some of you will have to read between the lines. Ace of Swords. So you can expect to hear from an ex. And as a consequence, you will have to be extremely clear with your thought process and your feedbacks in favor of this person. Whatever they may be, you know, you're not forced to try again with this person, even if the connection was a positive one, but there was also a major downside about the situation. Queen of Pentacles, open, reasonable, agreeable, willing to find agreements, but the devil is not in favor of that. Another energy that can follow the soulmate's concept. It's a cycle for me, guys, about excesses and the Ten of Swords is not in favor of the opportunity to run this connection back because some of you may have already found a way to break free from a difficult situation. Maybe it was a karmic experience for some of you. I want to say that you loved this person deeply. You have taken care of the connection, but unfortunately you got hurt. And you have already embraced a healing process. The opportunity to break free from that connection was a miracle for you. So a blessing in disguise because it was the opportunity to break free from a devilish cycle. There can be memories. This person can represent temptation for some of you. Embrace the realization that you gave a chance to the connection. Unfortunately, it didn't pan out. Your Ten of Cups energy can be elsewhere. So be polite. There is no need to fight with this person. Be polite. Avoid the temptation. Avoid the devilish cycle coming around once again. Trust your heart. But be clear, if the connection is over, so be it, move forward, don't look back. The other person will have to accept the outcome, even if they can be a little bit obsessed with the connection, guys. So you will have to be mindful of that. Guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow. So thank you. And until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.